So like a zombie, I take my time and I walk outside this morning. And I decided to give you guys a quick little grocery shopping haul. Hello darlings, welcome back to another vlog. So it's already afternoon here and I pretty much spend the entire morning taking care of some official stuff, doing a lot of phone calls and just putting things in place. Um, you guys can notice that my hair is still a bit wet. I just conditioned it, but I really like how it's looking. And this is not actually a scarf, it's actually my headband, but I kind of just left it on my neck because I kind of like how it looks as a scarf as well. So I'll just leave it there for right now. So I am going to go on the road in a few because um, we need to do some grocery shopping. And then when I come back, I'm just going to be editing not going to be doing too much today for the rest of the afternoon honestly the main reason why i'm going to shopping today is because we're out of water i look at this so many crates of empty bottles so we need to go there mainly for water today Yeah, so we almost finished getting our stuff. My socks is riding down. I grabbed a socks quickly before I left the house. And now it's like one of those really short socks, like the ankle socks. I don't know why it's so loose, but it's just riding down. So now it's underneath my feet instead of at my ankle. So it's so uncomfortable. But yeah, we're finished now. We're gonna go home. Hey guys, so I'm back now from the grocery store and I wanted to show you guys more while I was doing my shopping but unfortunately I didn't get the chance to, so sorry about that. I'm about to, un to pack away my stuff right now and I decided to give you guys a quick little grocery shopping haul. So I'm going to start off by showing you guys um, the water. This is the water that we always buy and it's called the Vodic. That's my favorite water here in Germany. I got some flowers as well so I'm going to put these in a vase right away. They're a little bit withered, especially this orange one, but I wanted this because it kind of gave me a fall vibe. Got some pineapple juice. And of course, got some drinks. My husband loves these drinks here. Dr. Pepper. And these, I love these also. I like to drink this one. I don't drink so much juice, but we like to have them for every once in a while when we need some drinks or if we have guests coming over or something like that. I bought one pack of this Ritz crackers to snack on and pretzel okay let me put away the cold stuff first so i bought some milk bought two boxes of milk and i bought some almond and oat milk as well because i like to drink this with my cereal so on a regular day i would just be having my cereal with either almond milk or oat milk and i love this vanilla one it tastes really sweet and nice but if you're not a person who likes sweet to drink or sweet um what do you say sweet non-dairy milk then this would not be the one for you because it's too sweet um, but this one is not sweet at all this one here got some cheese you like to have the um casey option these sliced up ones where you get different assortments in the pack and then we got some emmental cheese got some salmon for when you're making like a sandwich got some shinken as well I bought some dark bread. I didn't buy any white bread today. We do have a little bit left um, in the pantry. So I got some shelf cases, which I like to use in my salads or when I'm making eggs. Oh, and I love these. I love this type of obatsa. It's one of my favorite, actually. Some plain yogurt. Also got some um, flavored yogurt. Um, this particular brand yogurt is my favorite. Didn't get the flavor that I wanted. I like um, the strawberry flavor and I like the blueberry flavor. More drinks. We got some tortellini. So these make are uh, really nice and quick, you know. So I'll probably be making that later on for dinner. You know? Got some Parmesan cheese and some cheddar cheese. Okay, and I got some snacks for when you're watching TV. Shoko mix with um, um, cranberries and nuts. I really love this one. 
So we just got four those. And I bought some pesto sauce, got some whipped cream, and some cocos noose milk. Some coconut milk. Two times. Bought one milk mechi. Every once in a while when I need to make some porridge, Jamaican caramel porridge, I use that in it. And marmalade, moving pick, I love them. And I also bought a jar of honey. And the last thing, a tube of mayonnaise. I had this one already, didn't even realize we had one. But yeah, I just put the older one at the front and then the newer one at the back. And guys, I can't believe I forgot to show you these chocolates that I bought. We love, love, love these chocolates. It has rum in it and back in the days actually said Jamaica rum. I don't know why it's not on it anymore, but yeah, it still tastes the same. Not sure why it doesn't say Jamaican rum. I bought three of those and one is almost finished already because yeah, really love this chocolate. Oh guys, and I'm really proud of my little corner piece decor situation that I have going on here. So this is just a simple Lizzy Suzanne that I got from Ikea. So it's perfect for this corner cake and just turn it around quite easily to access the stuff that are at the back. And here I have this wine opener that I got on Amazon. I will try to link it in the description box. And I love how I can just tuck the cord away at the back and then when I'm ready, I can just plug it in because there's a plug right here on the wall. And this black thing that I have it on is just a tea warmer with a candle in it so to give it some elevation i just hope i remember where this tea warmer is when i'm ready to use it because sometimes i'll put stuff someplace and then i just totally forget where they are here at the front i just have these two jars that i put olive oil in this one is empty now but i would usually put apple cider vinegar in it um the last time i actually put balsamico in it and at the extreme front i just have more extra virgin olive oil balsamico of course a nice bottle of red wine and just other things that i think match to my personality and help present my taste and i wanted something a bit shiny to give it more of a pop so i added these three um ice cream spoons to the extreme front and I just think it's really pretty and it's also quite practical. So if you guys are trying to figure out what to put in a corner like this, here is some inspiration for you. Hey, good morning guys. So today is wash day. So I'll be shampooing my hair today with this TGIN product line that I showed you guys in my last video. And I will be recording the process so you guys um, can check out my next video to see what I think about these products all together. So I'm going to go ahead now and just record that video and then I will check back with you guys later on throughout the course of today. Hello guys, so just checking back in with you. I did a portion of my filming already, shampooed my hair, deep conditioned everything. And guys, this was the most exhausting wash day routine for me ever. You guys have absolutely no idea the work that goes into um, some of these videos like personally for me when I'm doing like a wash day routine I prefer to sit in front of my camera instead of doing it in the shower because I have better lighting and it's a lot easier than for me to be setting up the lighting and risking it not coming out good by the time I'm editing I'm realizing oh it's too dark there or I didn't um, show that scene properly or I'm out of frame or something like that so I prefer to sit in front of the camera and then go to the shower and wash out Usually, it's still exhausting when I'm doing that, going from the from where I normally film my video to going to the shower and stuff like that. But today was a work and a half. I'm finished. I'm exhausted. I my bathroom upstairs is currently under renovation, so we've not been using that for a little while. So I had to use the bathroom downstairs. So every time when I put shampoo in my hair, I'm running down the stairs to rinse it out to come back in front of the camera. And I did not even think about how exhausting that would have been. Um, when I was about halfway through, I was like, okay, let me just scrap it. Let me just set up in the bathroom, put my ring lights there. But then I said, no, I didn't want to risk it. And then the lighting um, probably won't get it properly because I already started a part of the procedure in front of the camera. I just didn't want to change the light. Hello, my darlings. So I'm back. And this time in twists, 
so I'm just leaving these in to dry I think I'm gonna undo them either tomorrow or later today maybe in the night I just want to give them enough time to make sure that they're nicely set in so now I'm going to take a break and probably call my mom talk with her for a few and then a little later from now I'll make some dinner Hello guys, good afternoon. So I just did the outro scenes for my video. You guys can check out the full video on Thursday. Um, so this morning, I woke up about seven o'clock in the morning because I thought that my garbage collectors were coming today. So normally I would put up my garbage ahead of time, but I totally forgot and I only remembered last night when it was extremely late about, I was up until late, I was up until about two o'clock. And I remember at that time I was like, oh, I'm so lazy. I can't go outside right now to put out the garbage. So I was thinking, okay, I'll get up early in the morning and then put it out. So I set my alarm for 7 o'clock to wake me up. So like a zombie, I take my time and I walk outside this morning, put out my garbage, and then realized that the garbage truck is not coming today, but it's coming tomorrow. So yeah. And because I woke up so early, when I went back to bed, I ended up oversleeping and did not wake up until like 11.30. Got out of bed like about 12 o'clock. Um, my sister Max called me so I was chatting with her for a little while. By the time I got ready and finished and do my makeup, go on camera, do my outro scenes. And now it's afternoon. I need to go and paint the house for the hedgehog so we can put it in the garden. So I need some time for it to dry. So I'm going to go ahead and paint it right now and show you guys a little while I'm doing it. So I decided to change into this old sweater that I have that has lints for decades and this old jeans that is ripped all over. So it doesn't really matter if it gets paint all over it because it's all paint and if it gets in the clothes, it won't come out. So I'm going to be going ahead and painting now. Hello my darlings, so today is Saturday and I did not check in with you guys like the last few days. There was just not so much going on, it was pretty laid back and now I'm on the road. I'm actually in the city, we're going to this park right now, it's really pretty over here. Let me show you guys a little bit of what's, what my view is looking like. This usually has water in it, but now they emptied it out for winter. So this is how it looks currently.
it's a really nice park here and the trees with the fall and everything so i think i'm going to close out this vlog right now i thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you all in my next video Bye.